guys and welcome here! This channel is for foreign parents living in Germany, especially foreign mothers living in Germany just like me. And on today's video we are going to talk about the Elternzeit in Germany, the parental leave in Germany. Elternzeit is a very special time and it has so many magic moments. And spending this time with your child it is, in my opinion, priceless. But Having a baby and raising children in a foreign country could be pretty scary and sometimes overwhelming. In this video you can find a lot of useful information about the parental leave in Germany, the so-called Elternzeit. Let's start! And the first fact is that you can take Elternzeit for newborn biological children or for adopted children. And for biological children you can take Elternzeit from the day they were born and for adopted children from the day uh, when the child joined your household, even if the adoption process is still ongoing. And now the second fact. The duration of the Elternzeit is three years per child, per parent. And you can take until a child reaches eight years old. Before that, you're free to choose when you want to take your parental leave. And you can even split it in two phases or in three phases. If your employer agrees, you can do it even in more phases. And you can take it just some months or you can take it per weeks or you can take it just per days, as you want. But um, you have to take or you cannot take uh, more than 24 months after your child reaches three years old. Uh, this means that you will have to take that year, those 12 months, before your child reaches three years old. And now let me give you an example on how this could work. So <clears throat> we are talking about one parent, just a mother and one child, and she is taking uh, 24 months of Eltern side until the child is two years old. Then she is going to work for one year. Uh, then she takes again 12 months um, when the child reaches three years old until the child is four years old. And then she took all the three years before the child was eight years old um, and she could spend time with her child. Actually, some parents take this, take some months or even a year, um, in that year that the children enter in the Grundschule when they are six years old, to be sure that uh, the children adapt smoothly to this new type of school. And now the third fact your job position is protected. During parental leave or Elternzeit in Germany, um, you may earn less uh, or no income. This means that you would work just less or you would not work. Uh, but your position and your role is protected. So when you go back to work, you go to the exact same position, except in the case there is stated in your contract otherwise. But even in that case, if you are assigned after your Elternzeit to a different position or role or area of responsibility and as a result of this reassignment you would earn less, you have less income, then that's not allowed. And the fourth fact is that depending on how old your child is, the Elternzeit registration rules may vary. If you are registering to get Elternzeit before your child reaches three years old, then you will have to do it seven weeks before you want to start with your parental leave. But if you are doing that for your child that is already older than three years old, then you will have to give 13 weeks before the start of your um, Eltern site. But there are some exceptions. Sometimes you cannot predict when you would really want to start your Elton site. For example, if there is a premature birth um, or um, if your adoptive care is starting right away. In that, those cases, you can um, just notify your employer as soon as possible and your Elton site registration should be accepted. And now the fifth and last fact about Elternzeit parental leave in Germany that we're going to talk about on this video is the fact that even during Elternzeit you have the right to take annual leave. And if you're not taking whole months, so if you're not taking um, Elternzeit from the first day of the month until the last day of the month, if you're just taking parts of the month, um, if you're starting uh, Elternzeit on day three or on the 12th or on day 20, then you can, you will have the right actually to uh, have annual leave for that period of time. But if you're taking whole month, then you will have an um, annual leave reduction of 112 for those months that you take as holes. This actually happens also if you're taking Elton site, for example, on the second of the month or on the third, because the days before the first and the second were uh, days that you usually would not work, like a Saturday or Sunday or a bank holiday, or even if you uh, are still on, on maternity leave for those uh, first days of the month, then you also have this 112 reduction. 
If you take more annual leave than you are entitled to, your employer may reduce your annual leave for the following year. On the other hand, if you were not able to take that annual leave and despite the annual leave policies of your company, this annual leave that you have the right during your Elternzeit do not expire. So it means that you can take them when your Elternzeit finishes, even if you finish Elternzeit and you take directly Elternzeit for other child, uh, then it doesn't expire and you will take all that annual leave that you are entitled to when all these um, phases that you're taking will finish. Now, let me just give you an example on how this uh, annual leave reduction may work. For example, we have here a father and he's taking a parental leave or Elternzeit from the 5th of January until the 17th of July. So he has five whole months of Elternzeit, February, March, April, May and June. But for January and July, he has two months that he's just taking part. So it means that he will have, he's entitled to have annual leave for those months. So he will have a reduction of five twelfths of his annual leave. And usually he gets 30 days annual leave, uh, meaning that he will have a reduction of 12.5 days annual leave. So in the end, he's able to take 17.5 days annual leave for that year. And these are five facts about Elternzeit or parental leave in Germany. But there is so much more to know and understand so you get the best for yours and your family's life during this period. So check my previous videos about maternity leave, about Elterngeld and be tuned for the upcoming videos. They will be really helpful. I have all the information on this video in a written format on my website. So if you want to check it out, don't forget to see on the description of this video the link for it. I will leave there also other relevant links that might help you. If you have further questions and you think that I might help you or I might give you a hint on where to look for answers, just leave me a comment on this video. If you like this video, I will be really, really happy if I see your thumbs up there. And uh, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, also, I am on social media, so be free to connect with me there. And see you on the next video. Adios!